What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tegan here with High Point Scientific. Yes, it's true. ZWO has finally come out with their upgrade to the ASI Air Pro, the ASI Air Plus. In this video, we're going to talk about the similarities between the two, the differences or the upgrades that you will find when switching to the ZWO ASI Air Plus. And finally, we're going to see if that upgrade may or may not be worth it for you. So stick around and find out. <laughs> Okay, so to my left, you're going to see a chart with the list of features, followed by columns for the ASI Air Pro and the ASI Air Plus. Like I mentioned before, we're going to talk about the similarities between the two, some of the key features that both of these systems include. Then we're going to discuss the differences or the upgrades that you're going to see in the ASI Air Plus when switching from the ASI Air Pro. So the first two key features we're going to discuss are the USB ports as well as the 12 volt DC outputs. These are identical between the two systems. The USB ports are great for controlling dedicated astronomy cameras, your guide cameras, off access guide cameras, uh, planetary cameras. You have your ZWO filter wheels, your electronic autofocusers. Those can all be controlled um, identically between the two systems through the USB ports. Additionally, you have the 12 volt outputs, which can power all of these accessories, uh, the ones that need power are typically the EAF, which is, is now powered by the USB port and the uh, cameras, dedicated astronomy cameras, which definitely need that power supply coming from the 12 volt outputs. The third feature that is similar between the two systems is the smartphone app. It's the same ASI Air app that you're used to if you've been using the ASI Air Pro, but if you do upgrade to the ASI Air Plus, you will need to do a app update and that's going to actually include another key feature which we will discuss here in a little bit but as it stands the app is going to be the same. The fourth and final feature that remains similar between the ASI Air Pro and the ASI Air Plus may seem rather obvious but it is the ability to completely control your astrophotography system from your smartphone and it replaces your computer, it replaces your hand controller, and it allows you to just do astro imaging while you're sitting inside, watching TV, laying in bed, relaxing, working. It completely eliminates the need to go outside, check your equipment, and make sure everything is up and running. You can just check your smartphone and you should be good to go. Okay, improvements and upgrades. What are we going to see in the ASI Air Plus that we did not see in the ASI Air Pro? The biggest question surrounding the ASI Air Plus is likely the Wi-Fi signal. According to ZWO, there is a Wi-Fi antenna attached to the back of the ASI Air Pro, which is going to give you a stronger Wi-Fi connection, a more stable Wi-Fi connection, and a wider signal. So as far as Wi-Fi is concerned, plus one for the ASI Air Plus. Okay, now the second improvement we're gonna see over the ASI Air Pro in the ASI Air Plus is in the actual design. The ASI Air Plus is going to be a little bit smaller, a little bit more lightweight, and just in general, a little bit more compact, but that's not the coolest feature here. Above the 12 volt DC output, you're going to see four little red lights, which indicate power consumption. If you look in your app, you're also going to be able to see the amount of power that each accessory is consuming. This is fantastic if you just wanna see how much more money you're spending on this hobby. On top of power consumption, it also has an additional USB Type-C port. This means you can attach your computer directly to the ASI Air Pro for data transfer, and you don't have to take your SD card out and break it while you put it into your laptop. So that's going to help a lot with re-downloading the OS onto a new memory card or any issues like that. Data transfer is now going to be simple. So that's plus one for design. The third improvement that we're going to see in the ASI Air Plus over the ASI Air Pro is in the operating system. The ASI Air Plus now runs on an eMMC or an embedded multimedia card. This card has 20 gigabytes of internal storage. In addition to that, it has a auto recovery mode, which means that if your ASI Air Plus boots up incorrectly, it will find the fault and it will recover on its own. The ASI Air Plus can also utilize a TF card up to one terabyte. That sounds like a plus one for the ASI Air Plus on the operating system. It looks like the ASI Air Plus has everything that the ASI Air Pro has to offer and more, an improved operating system, improved Wi-Fi, a sleeker design, and many more extra features. The ASI Air Plus seems to be very promising in regards to fully and remotely controlling your astrophotography system from your smartphone. 
Again, we thank you so much for tuning in to the High Point Scientific YouTube channel. If you've enjoyed this video over the highly anticipated ASI Air Plus, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any additional questions regarding the system, we've provided a link below in the description that will take you directly to our webpage that will have all of this information available directly from ZWO. If you have any other questions regarding any of the equipment that we offer, please reach out to our non-commissioned product advisors and we'll be more than happy to assist. Clear skies.